Companies should use Microsoft Power Platform because it's a great capability and tool set that can be used across your business in numerous different ways. So you've got the concepts of Power Apps, uh, the low code slash no code development framework. It removes manual processes within your organization and also it empowers your employees as well because now they're able to take ownership of tasks by creating and managing their own applications. We've got Power Automate, including the robotic process automation elements to automate sort of uh, common business scenarios um, through to Power Virtual Agents and Power BI. With Power BI, what you're able to do is bring together many um, data uh, silos within your organization so you get a much more holistic understanding of your business. Tools to have chatbots, tools to articulate business intelligence and data. There's just so much on offer there that it's, you know, why shouldn't you use it? You'd assume with a Microsoft sort of, you know, products and platform that um, it sticks to Microsoft products only. No, that's not the case whatsoever. It's incredibly versatile, as well as being really, really powerful. I think one of the key things is to assess internally what their key challenges are. And then from that, we can support by way of saying, well, look, let's now help you decide where is the best starting point for your Power Platform journey. So the Power Platform, um, whilst great and has lots of great tools and functionality within it, has the propensity to grow organically within an organization. And what I mean by that is that you get started, say with a Power App or using Power Automate Flows, and you find out that they're pretty cool, pretty good, and solve a lot of problems. So you build more of them. And that's a sort of organically growing thing that without a level of governance and understanding can grow uh, a little bit out of control. So putting governance policies and frameworks in place is really sort of key into making sure that the growth doesn't go too crazy and too wild. There's a number of resources available to you if you're considering the uh, Microsoft Power Platform. Um, firstly, there's obviously Microsoft materials, such as Microsoft Learn, where you can pick up and go through examples of how to use the tools and features within the Power Platform, along with the Microsoft documentation um, websites where you can see all around what the tools are, and again, what they can do for you. Here at Bytes, one of the key um, offerings that we'd certainly recommend is the Power Platform Velocity Workshop. So this is a one-to-one -one tailored workshop that is provided by our uh, cloud solutions team. There's also the Power Platform Quick Starts, which are five-day get-up-and-go sort of idea around the Power Platforms, so picking a need and starting to use it and with um, experts guiding you throughout the journey. So if you're interested in that, you can contact Bytes at tellmemore at bytes.co.uk. Let them know of your needs and requirements and they'll be able to help you with that. Well.